intelligent minds sit together, they can create history. And Euro PCR is really the history. It is amazing. It is amazing. Every year is new, I think, uh, uh, new innovation, uh, new exciting experience. Uh, very exciting, very crowded, I see this year. Uh, share with your colleagues. Uh. You need to come to this meeting because you learn a lot about the innovations in interventional cardiology. This is really one of the best meetings to learn that. We have integrated data from two centers, St. Paul's Hospital in Vancouver, Canada, and the center in Rouen. Two pioneering centers doing TAVI procedures more than a decade ago, collecting cases from April 2002 to May 2011. Cases performed more than five years ago. We grouped more than 700 cases. Out of them, we excluded cases that had early mortality or early degeneration, reaching a total of 378 patients on which we have evaluated the risk for early degeneration of the transcatheter valve in long term. And what we've seen is that there is a signal. This is very preliminary data. This is a first look at our data, a signal for the generation, according to our definition of having moderate aortic regurgitation or mean gradient above 20, between five and seven years after the procedure, reaching approximately 50% risk for degeneration, according to the definition that I have given, within eight years. I have my coffee. Show it to me. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> You have to download the new application. I hope most of you did it already. Actually, as we speak, 4,600 colleagues have downloaded it. And the title of the study is uh, Six Years Follow-up of the Bioresorbable Scaffold, uh, followed by Multi-Slice CT Scan and using also the fractional flow reserve CT to follow the functionality of the narrowing. The main conclusion is that if you analyze carefully, you see that the lumen uh, gets slowly enlarged with time. So there is a late lumen enlargement. That's very, very benefit. And this late lumen enlargement is the result of a thinning of the plaque media. So there's some resolution of the plaque malia, allowing an increase in the lumen. In general, there is no constrictive uh, remodeling of the adventitia of the vessel area. Late lumen enlargement and reduction of the plaque malia. Major message. The TAVI live demonstration from Institut Cardiovasculaire, Paris Sud. Uh, good morning, it's really a pleasure to be with you and. Uh, uh, to start the morning with uh, a minimally invasive uh, transfemoral uh, TAVI case. Of course, uh, we need to, uh, to have a special catheter in order to be able to uh, put a stent in the femoral if necessary or to do balloon dilatation. The pinion study is a, a prospective randomized non-inferiority trial comparing uh, OFDI-guided PCI versus IBIS-guided PCI. And on 800 patients were randomly classified into OFDI-guided PCI and IBIS-guided PCI. We performed the eight months angiographic follow-up and a 12 months clinical follow-up. In the results, the target press of failure uh, for 12 months is uh, comparable, equivocal equivalent between uh, OFDI-guided PCI and IBIS-guided PCI. Of course, secondary endpoint, cardiac DS, MY, uh, target vessel revascularization rate is, of course, comparable, and the rate is barely low. So my conclusion, uh, OFDI-guided PCI is non-inferior to the IBIS-guided PCI. The both modality is very useful to improve patient outcome.